Hi, this is Dr. John LaPook for First Look. So today we're going to be following up on today's story about uh, Press Secretary Tony Snow, who unfortunately found that his colon cancer had spread to the liver. And one of the things we want to talk about is all of the new type of therapies that we're seeing now uh, for treating people with cancer, and uh, including people who've had cancer that spread or metastasize. So uh, this is a serious development, but it's really not the end of the world. There are treatments out there, and there are some treatments that are very, very exciting, um, treatments that target the patient's body's own immune system so that you can sort of turn on your own ability to kill the cancer. There are things called targeted therapies, which are special types of therapies that try to hone in on what's different about a cancer cell from a regular cell. So traditionally with chemotherapy, radiotherapy, we're kind of throwing a bomb at the cancer and in the process of blowing up the cancer, unfortunately, sometimes we blow up part of the patient and we cause serious side effects. So is there a way with targeted therapy that we can just hone in on the cancer and very specifically hurt the cancer cells while leaving normal cells intact? So this is some of the things that are on the horizon. There's gene therapy, um, which also can be used to try to turn your own immune cells into cells that can more efficiently kill cancer. At the end of the day, uh, I think it's very scary for somebody to obviously find out that they've had cancer that's spread, but no doctor or nobody should ever take away hope from a patient. And I think what's amazing right now is that there are an enormous number of really brilliant people out there who are working like crazy uh, to try to come up with new ways of, of killing cancer cells. And, uh, and they're coming up with new ideas every day. I would bet on the ingenuity of, of these researchers any day of the week. What's holding us back is funding. So even as we're trying to develop new ways of killing cancer, funding for cancer research is being pulled back. So that's a funny paradox that we're, uh, we're <laughs> confronting right now. And I think um, hopefully in the future, as we get more funding for colon cancer research and therapy, um, we're going to start seeing that some of these wonderful ideas that people come up with can actually be transformed into actually real-life therapies that can change the course of all the various different cancers that are causing so much trouble uh, right now.